how do you think Russia responded to that little sit down dinner event with these five different Nordic states and the president? Well, usually they don't respond very much at all uh, because they do their own thing and they seem to understand a little bit better than we do from time to time how best to posture. So, I mean, they probably minimize that this really mattered very much. They'll have their own little gatherings. And the difference between us really is that the Russians are doing things substantively that will unnerve these other states from time to time, whereas we just sort of talk and pull back, actually, from t from our allies over in that part of the world. So I'm sure it was a lovely dinner. I'm sure that those leaders had an awesome time sitting down with President Obama in the last year of his administration, and they probably wonder what's coming next, whereas with Putin, we know what we're getting. Mm, uh, true, very true. He had made the suggestion, too, when he was welcoming uh, Finland, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Iceland. He had said, well, you know, we should let these Nordic contr countries control the world. They could clean things up. And I know he said it somewhat facetiously, but it was still kind of a weird thing to say, I thought, as he was welcoming everyone to this dinner. Yeah, well, it's sort of an acknowledgement of we're not doing very much as the United States of America these days. And the one thing that these Nordic countries know better than a lot of the rest of us do because they live in that world is that the Russians have been working the Arctic Ocean areas, the land underneath the ocean, and exploiting those resources better than some of the rest of us have. And so in some material ways, whether it's shipping, resources, or even the movement of military assets, they sense uh, what the profound impacts of a void have been by America kind of being distracted and withdrawing. So, uh, you know, the Russians, they do things, we talk, and, yeah, we're, we're there uh, showing how strong we are by having a nice dinner and President Obama pretending like, yep, they got, these guys know about climate change and clean energy and gun-free zones and all of the stuff that he would like to do if he had no Congress or any other resistance.